Okay, uh, hey, so our project is ukulele LED, and ukulele LED. Yeah. Okay. Or ukulele lead. Yeah, um, all right. And um, it works by uh, telling the user, like teaching the user how to play, by telling the user which uh, fingers to press down for which and chords which and which locations. So um, we have two modes of operation. We have a play mode and a practice mode. Right now, it's operating in the practice mode, and in the practice mode, you. Type in a chord name through a command line interface, and just lights up the LEDs corresponding okay, to that so, chord. Okay, so play it now. You put your fingers where it says, yeah, and you and play it. So okay. A major, it's a little a bit major. out of tune. And we can show uh, other chords, like what about like... Uh, so we use green for a major chord. Uh -huh. what, uh, how about C sharp minor? Okay, okay. so we use red, red, for red for a minor chord. Red for a minor chord, cool. And then seven chords. I'm not very good at this. So what do you want to do? G7. Sure, that one should be easy. That's like. And yeah, so that's G7. G7. So right now we cover majors, minors, and sevens. Cool. Uh -huh. And and the, these are these are uh, uh, serially connected uh, LEDs. Yeah, these are all serially yeah. connected to one microcontroller pin. Uh -huh. Wow. So yeah. only three wires going to all of them. Huh? Uh huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. This is um, the data sheet for these LEDs specifies like a really. Um, really strict um, timing uh, timing protocol to r drive these, and we actually couldn't drive them using. We tried to drive them using PWM and C, but I guess we couldn't meet the timing specifications because of um, just like context yeah. switching and things happening. And we also used TRT, and that we thought that probably uh, did something with the timing. So we ended up using uh, a driver for this. <laughs> Which uses like bit blasting and assembly to meet really strict timing specifications. Karoma, did you write the assembler? Oh no. Oh, you found it someplace. Yeah, oh, it's good. a driver. Okay. okay. Luckily. <laughs> Luckily. That would have been yeah. Pain. yeah. Anyways. All right. So let's. All right. So, so we, there's also play mode. Okay. So in play mode, um, according to a tempo uh, specified by the user, um, we have a song file that looks like uh, this. So the song the user specifies a tempo. And beats per measure. Also, a beats per measure, and specifies different chords to play with different measures. And according to that tempo, the ukulele LED will light up the uh, specific chords according to that uh, tempo. So we have this song after the Gold Rush, and uh, we'll play it right now. Look here. So first we have a count in. Yeah. So it counts in four beats, so you know the tempo, and then it lights that up. Yeah, and just lights the chords up in order. I see, lights the chords up in order, and in, then in the right and you time. and you would try and yeah, yeah. play them. Well, if this were better in tune. Okay, so the, the there is a small effect of your fingers covering the LEDs, right? Mm -hmm. but, can, but, but, there, when, uh, but when you're above it, you can see them, okay? Yeah, from, yeah, from all right. the same. Okay, when I'm in front of it, I don't see it, but your fingers are on it. But okay, yeah. when you're above it, you can see them. Scattered. And, and these are also bright enough so you can see like the reflection off your fingers, so you can get a good oh, idea okay. of where right. of where the things are. And so I see that you 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 instrumented uh, four frets worth. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that was because you ran out of LEDs, well, time... Uh, well, you can actually play every single chord, every well, every single ukulele chord, at least one transposition of it, using only these four frets. I see. So this was sufficient for the project? Yes. Got it. Okay. And I like the I like the mounting job you did there. It's uh, It integrates yes, with paint. the... Uh, with the structure pretty well. Yeah, I mean, we, we made sure to keep the levels of these LEDs under the frets uh -huh. so that when you, like, the way this works is you press down the string and then the fret bar, the fret wire is what stops the string. So, so you press the string down and it stops it, but you don't actually hit the LEDs or yeah. anything underneath. So it feels correct when you're when you're playing it. Yep, and it's all, we also made sure to keep it light. There's very little on this. There's oh, that's, I want to see that down there. So the... There's just two connections. One is power, which you could, of course, um, yeah, use abstract away. Mm -hmm. And then this is the serial connection for the for the mm -hmm. the computer, for the computer. Which, connects to, which like yeah, to USB, and then it connects to a Python script that uh, can read and write from serial. Oh, so you you you're not using a, a a terminal. It's a Python script that allows you much more flexibility in how you want to format stuff in, in the command line interface. Yeah. So this oh, one nice. parses the song file, sends it. Uh, we use like our own serialization method to 
serialize the data and sends it to the market controller. This one parses it, sets everything up, and then starts going. I see. So you're, you're sending something text-like over to the microcontroller. Yeah, yeah one and string that represents like the entire song. Yeah. Or the entire court. All right, so you could preload that on the microcontroller if you wanted to, say, have it use it for performance or for training or something. You yes, could preload that, some true. on there. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you.